Hey artist friends, I'm here today to show you um, a few tips and tricks and hacks um, for painting your reborn doll. There are plenty of videos out there about um, how to paint, but these are the things that the pros will not tell you about um, reborn dolls. So first of all, I want to start with my absolute favorite tool for reborn dolls, and it is me, 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 a toothpick. <laughs> Toothpicks are awesome. So if you have some paint that's ac accidentally ended up in some crevices, you can use that toothpick to kind of um, lightly scrub it out. Um, now it's best to use it as soon as you see a problem. Problems do happen. Sometimes we just miss a little spot. Um, put a little bit of thinner on it and just gently rub and scrub. And it's really great for getting in these little creases where paint loves to pool and stick. Um, also, um, I use a toothpick to make my fingernails. So for the longest time, I couldn't figure out how are these artists making these tiny, thin, you know, nails. Um, and I thought, oh, I just have to get a smaller and smaller and smaller brush. So, I mean, you probably could do that, but what I do is I just use the thinnest brush that I'm comfortable with. Um, I paint the line on there, and then I will go through and just scrape and wipe and scrape and wipe and scrape and wipe until I get that nail as thin as I want it to be. So, great tool, a toothpick. <clears throat> So another inexpensive tool, so if you are having your doll head, um, if you're drawing your doll head, a great tool is a cup, um, just a plastic cup. So if you're dr the drawing the doll head, it's going to sit like that. And I, just to make it more stable, um, there's glue in the bottom of mine, but you could put rocks in the bottom or glass beads or something to weight it. Otherwise, it's not going to be really, really stable and it has um, a tendency to tip over. Um, so my next hack is about um, hair. So um, either it doesn't matter if you're painting the hair or you're rooting the hair, you want to have a hair pattern. And of course in the front particularly you want the hair to be even. So what I use is I use a ring. So you can buy these rings, they're like 40 cents. Um, and they're actually neck rings, so they're used to put on the neck of the doll to make it easier for the doll's head to turn. But I use them because of their shape, their perfect circles. So, for example, right here on the... <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get you guys down a little bit. I am not known for being the best at filming here. So basically for the side of the head, you want um, the hairline to be kind of like that. You want it to go like a half circle in kind of towards the brow. And then you want it to come back, back up like that. And then of course, in the front of the head, you want, you know, your perfect half circle shape. And that's where this comes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it down on the doll. And I'm just going to move it back just a tiny, tiny bit. And I'm going to draw just like that. So that's um, my hairline for there. And then I'm going to kind of attach that. Sorry, I'm trying to have you guys see and me see at the same time. And then I want to go up like so. And you can see that's the shape that basically I want. I want it to go in towards the eyebrow and then back up. And then I'm going to flip her around. And I'm going to do the same thing. And it will be roughly the same, the same size. Do it correctly. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. That one could use a little bit more of a. So I'll just draw it out a little bit more just to match a little bit better. 
Okay, and then I'm going to come here on the, yeah, on the top. One of the things, whoops, I'm already noticing is that, see this one's come farther forward than this one. So I think I want to try to fix that now in my drawing. And then I'm going to, I actually trace like the entire thing because it helps me know where the top of the head is. Okay. So there we go. Now we have the top of her head and I, I know it look, doesn't look like it's centered but when I look at it in person, it's centered. Awesome, so that's gonna help me to, and that doesn't matter if I'm painting or rooting, um, it just is gonna give me that nice shape of the hairline that um, I want it to be. All right, so another little trick of the trade. So I'm doing all sorts of little tricks of the trade today. I'm going to put her back here, she's ready to be rooted, um, is mohair conditioner. So it's a really nice idea to, to use mohair conditioner um, and to uh, give a little bit to your clients. But, you know, what is mohair conditioner? Well, first of all, what is mohair? Mohair is goat hair, which is a lot like human hair. It's from Angora goats. And so one of the things that I really like to use is a human leave-in treatment specifically one that has um, argon oil in it. This is Infusium, you don't have to use this particular brand, but a leave-in treatment is a really nice idea. Now when you're using this leave-in treatment, if you're a collector, you want, to, because it is oil-based, you really want to try to avoid the face if at all possible. So cover the face with your hand or cover it with a cloth. Um, and then always um, spray with the head, if you can, with the head upside down um, so that so that the argon oil is going to run, you know, down. And if it's going to drip, it's going to drip off the face. Um, and you want to use that leave-in treatment probably, you know, once a month or once every few months if you live, um, depending on the type of climate that you live in. So if you live in a very moist, um, humid climate, probably not as much, but if you live in a very dry climate, you want to, you want to do that, um, is use your human leave-in treatment. All right, last thing I wanna talk about is combing your reborn doll hair. Um, and what is good for combing hair? Well, it kind of depends on the hair, but I want to show you several tools that I use. I don't really like um, baby brushes and that kind of stuff. Um, one really good, really good solution is a toothbrush. Toothbrush is nice. It has it has your bristles. Um, sorry, <laughs> been using this one. Um, <clears throat> but it doesn't have the big surface area of a baby brush. Um, another really good tool is this. This is like an eyebrow brush. Um, this is really nice for styling and I, I got this inexpensively at a beauty supply store. Um, and then one of these too, this is also um, supposed to be for eyebrow styling, but it also works really good for styling your reborn doll hair. You've got a softer side right here and then you've got more of the comb side right there. So I hope you've enjoyed these tips and tricks and tools that will be great um, as you're working on your reborn dolls. TTFN, ta-ta for now.